which is the strategy you can follow to solve uh, numerically nth order uh, linear ordinary differential equations. So we, we can follow different strategies and here we are going to center the analysis on, on especially on one and, and considering this is the main point of the strategy that any nth order linear ordinary differential equation can be transformed by a system of coupled first order differential equations. So we can transform the nth order different, uh, linear differential equation we do have by a system of coupled first order differential equations. And we do know how to solve them numerically. So the idea is to use that knowledge to calculate numerically, to solve numerically this nth order linear ordinary differential equations. And how we are going to do this transformation? We are going to show that using our example of the special case of the second order linear ordinary differential equation. As we have seen before, this is the general expression we do have for the second order ordinary differential equation. Um, besides the equation, we do have like two initial conditions. Um, we know that in the case this uh, P, Q, R and H functions are constants, uh, we can solve it numeric uh, analytically but if they are not constants in general that's uh, uh, extraordinarily difficult to do so uh, but we can rely on numerical methods to solve this kind of uh, second order ordinary differential equation for any p q r or h functions depending on on time and that's really interesting so how we are going to do this transformation from the nth order to the system of first order differential equations how we are going to replace that. So the idea is to, uh, in order to, to, to consider that transformation or that replacement, we have to define, we are going to define two new functions because uh, as our system is a second order, as equation is a second order differential equations, we're going to, your, the system is going to have two equations. So we're going to define two different two equations and these are the two new equations that we are going to define. The first one that we are going to call i1 is going to be the i function itself. Okay, this is the first one. And the second one is going to be what we are going to call i2 is going to be the time derivative of the i function. Of course i and the time derivative of i are two, two different functions that's why they are called a different way. So once we already have these two new functions, what's going to be the system of first order differential equations? It's going to be the following. So the first equation here uh, is quite straightforward. It corresponds to the time derivative of the y1 function. Actually, just by definition, it's going to be i prime, but that's actually i2. So this is the first equation we do have. And the initial condition corresponding to the y uh, one function is actually considering that it's actually as the y1 is just the y function it's just y naught. Okay that's uh, th this is the first equation and the second equation that corresponds to the time derivative of the y2 function. So here in order to uh, analyze what is the expression for the time derivative of the y2 function what we have to do is we are going to clear from the expression here, the second derivative of the y function. So if we are doing that, we have the second derivative of y, we have to bring all these two uh, terms to the, to the right and just divide it by, by, by the p function. So it's h over p uh, minus q over p uh, uh, times the time derivative minus r over p times u. This is the expression that we have for the uh, second time derivative of the y function. But the second derivative of the y function is the time derivative of the y2. So, so the time derivative of the y2 function is going to be all this here, all of this here. 
but here of course we have to use the new definitions uh, that we have done so this we have to replace this y time derivative of y by uh, by the um, y2 function and this y function by y1 function so and then besides that the uh, initial condition for the y2 function as the y2 function is the time derivative of y we do have it has to be this value here so so considering that we have already defined the system this is the system that we do have of first of two first order uh, differential equations that with which we can replace this uh, second order differential equations and now once we have made that replacement we can use the techniques actually or methods to solve uh, first order linear differential equations to solve that system so that's a way that's a way that we can use this is the strategy that we can use to solve numerically any nth order linear ordinary differential equations